Usually I start with the item I'm most excited about as the last item. I like build up to it. But no, this is going to be the very first item. The truth is I'm excited by a lot of things in this haul. This is a over $100 spent Dollar Tree haul, mostly Christmas as far as I remember. This I saw as I was leaving. I had spent like $90 the first time. And as I was leaving, I saw this display. And it was candy canes. And I went, I have last year's candy canes. They're definitely a different style. But I said, I have last year's candy canes. I don't want to keep rebuying, you know, outdoor decor every year. But guys, I saw a sign. These light up. They're LED lighted candy canes. They are 30 inches tall. So that's two and a half feet for $1.25. This shows what they talked about when they talked about that 25 cents increase. Last year's were shorter and they don't light up. So I thought this was absolutely amazing. I ended up grabbing 10 of them and going back in line. Um, they have a stake. This is the stake right here. So you stick them in the ground. If you guys watched my Halloween decorate with me, you guys kind of saw what I mean now when I talk about how I have a patch of dirt on what, the left of my door and a patch of dirt on the right of my front door, like on the side of my porch. And I'm going to put five on one side and five on the other. And I am going to mix in last year's candy canes as well. So it'll be like a candy cane village over there. I have a whole plan for my porch. You guys are going to see. I'm super excited about. So this is the first item I just had to show you guys. It's probably going to be my thumbnail photo. Photo. I even told the cashier. I said, oh my God, I saw those walking out and I had to go back in. And she was like, yeah, I bought those for my uh, for backyard too. Aren't they so cute? And I said, yes. So here is my haul. Guys, it's a lot of stuff. This is my uh, trick I learned after living on a third floor for many, many years. You use a carabiner, I think that's what they're called. And I hook all the bags into this. And it makes it so much easier to carry bags into the house. So let's get right into this because this is going to be a longer video. But guys, it is so, so worth it. This is the only item that is definitely like doesn't fit the season. This is fall. It stayed behind. I, I never saw this come out in October, November. Well, we're in November. What am I thinking? My mind's already in December. But, you know, I never saw this out in September or October. So they probably got a late shipment of it or it was a box in the back that they forgot about. But how beautiful is this? This is so in right now. It's that beaded garland with a leaf. And it has the R is for my last name. They had a bunch of letters. Uh, this was the only one that was like fitting for me. Um, these This would have been so cute in my entryway, but I'm currently decorating for Christmas. So I'm just going to throw this in my fall box and I will have it for next year. Then I saw these two, there was only two DIY stockings. It is the stocking itself and a pack of markers. So they had this one. It says gnome for the holidays with a bunch of gnomes. And this one says warm wishes and it has like a gingerbread cookie kind of theme to it. So I'm going to give one to my nephew and one to Joe's cousin because they like like arts and craft things. So I figured that I'd go right, be right up their alley. Then I saw these three shot glasses and I thought they were so, so cute. They even wrapped it really nice, which let's see if it made it because I just dropped this bag. Uh, yeah, this one's good. It says jungle juice. Like how cute is that? So if I'm entertaining... Oh, for Christmas, I thought these would be so cute. Elf size, like how cute. If you're making someone a little gift basket with liquor, like this is such a cute little add-in for only $1.25. This is the three I saw. So jungle juice, jingle juice, elf size, and this one that says ho, ho, ho. So stinking cute. So that is bag number one out of many. Let's, <laughs> let's get right into... The next one, so I am making my father our gift basket. I told you guys I love making gift baskets. His is going to have, like, wine and his favorite snacks, like peanuts, uh, cashews, stuff like that. Remember, my dad loves that stuff. Um, what else? Uh, I'm going to get him scratch tickets, like, all that stuff that he likes in a gift basket. So I usually just have the wine. Oh, I got him really cute wine glasses from Amazon, too. It was in an Amazon haul. So I usually just put the wine like towards the back of the basket, all cute. But I saw these at Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. It's just a plain little stocking. I have cuter stockings that me and Joe are gonna use this year. But this is definitely cute enough. Like if you have a family of four and you have a small budget, I don't like this. I'm gonna have to fix this. Um, it wasn't like that in the store, so I'm thinking it was just from the way it was bent in the bag. But anyway. This is a really cute neutral stocking that you can decorate with. But I'm going to put a wine bottle in each bag. And this is how I'm going to display the wine in my dad's wine basket. I thought that would be really cute. And then every year, Dollar Tree comes out 
with their own like Christmas village set. I still have last year's. I'm actually going to be doing a DIY project with them, which you guys will see. But this year, they had a few upgrades that I really wanted to get. I like this year's church much better. Um, last year's church is like an orangey red color. And I don't know, whenever I think church, I always think white. I love the stained glass windows on this one. Last year's definitely didn't have that. They definitely upgraded this. Uh, this is called, their, they call it cobblestone corners. That's like their, what they call their Christmas village every year. And these do light up. It has the little thing. I'm going to keep it closed for now. But I do have one that doesn't have it. So I will turn it on for you guys. And this one says Cobblestone Cafe. They did not have this last year. I love how it has like a little coffee mug in the window. It even has, I forget what you call these. But this sticks out. This is like 3D. You guys can see my fingers are going in here. Super duper cute. My mom got a kick out of these because I went to her house after Dollar Tree. I ended up bringing my bags in. I'm telling you, I've been hauling for years, even before YouTube. I used to be like, Mom, look what I got. And she was like, oh, my God, those are so cute. You're going to have to get me some. And this one says cobblestone candy. And, again, I love the details. I love the little wreath and the swags. <laughs> and I love that they let up. My favorite of the four is this one. And it's cobblestone sweets and treats. And it looks like a gingerbread house or like a Hansel and Gretel kind of house. Like I love that the chimney is even designed to look like an ice cream cone. You have the cute little like candy cane, the peppermint squirrel, like so cute. So I'm going to add these to last year's village on my entryway table, which you guys should be seeing decor for that soon. I'm going to show you guys a decorating video. And then these are solar lights. This one's actually blinking. It was like on in the store. Um, but I got, they had four different colors. Let me show you the four colors. So they had green, red, yellow, and blue. And I bought two of each. So again, it's going to go four on one side of my front door, four on the other side of my front door in the dirt, the little two garden patches I have mixed in with the candy canes. That's why I didn't need to buy as many solar lights. Um, but I definitely wanted to get them because I love how it looks like little ornament, like light bulbs on a Christmas tree. And then they had this style, which this is going to go, they're solar as well. And I am going to show you, was it four colors or three? I swear they had a blue. Let me check, because there's one more bag. Because I bought, I bought three of each color for that one. So that was honestly like a big chunk of my money. But it's going to be so worth it. It's going to be so beautiful. Yeah, here it is. So there's four. It's the same four as the solar lights. So it almost matches. But it's the blue, green, red, and yellow. And this is um them right here. And I had the idea. I actually thought of the idea first. And then I saw Catherine on Do It On A Dime do it. And I went, oh my god. She made it look beautiful. So I know I can too. And she basically <coughs> got a garland. And I have one from Dollar Tree right here. And they're 15 feet long. They are on the thinner side. I bought quite a few of these. I'm going to double them, which is exactly what she did in the video. So it looks a little thicker. And she ran these through these. And you can twist it on the little silver part so they won't move around and they stay put. And she wrapped... <coughs> oh, I apologize, guys. I'm so excited that I think I'm starting with the cold. But anyway, she wraps them around the garland and then she wrapped the garland around like the columns on her front porch and it was absolutely gorgeous so that is my plan so i have three of each color of these so there's four three times four four so i have 12 bulbs so hopefully that's enough to six for each column i think that'll be okay and i bought tons of these as well i cannot wait to do my front porch decorating i might I wanted to do it today, but it's so, so cold. Um, and then Joe's out. His mom moved recently, so he's helping her. If he's home early enough, maybe we'll get it done today. If not, definitely Thanksgiving weekend. And then, oh, I could smell the peppermint coming from this bag. So, you guys know, I buy them every year that they always have the chocolate spoons and the mint spoons. So I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. This is the chocolate spoons. I bought a few of these. These are awesome to mix in your hot chocolate. Catherine on a Dime showed these as well. She was making like a little hot cocoa bar for her kids. And she was saying how much the kids love them. They do a peppermint version too, which is what I'm trying to find. Here it is. 
So this is the peppermint version. It's basically a candy cane spoon. I will say I do like that these are foil in the back now. I don't know if you guys can see that. So if you want to give individual presents with a coffee mug, you can cut it. As long as you can cut it neatly, you will have six individual spoons. Where when I gave these away last year, I had to put them in little treat baggies from Dollar Tree. So I do feel like it's a little more like cleaner and classic looking because it is still wrapped in the plastic but that isn't an option with the chocolate one because there is no foil background but anyway so these are the two standard ones they have every year this year i saw this one and i thought oh is it just different packaging no guys this is chocolate peppermint oh my god when you think dollar tree can't get any better so i bought several of each box for my hot cocoa bar which i'm sure i will film for my channel as well so yeah, I literally have tons of these. That's the peppermint, chocolate. I don't have tons. I think I bought like three or four each. Well, last year I bought like 10 of each. And then some ended up getting thrown away at the end of the season. So I'm like, hey, you don't need to buy as many. I just get overly excited. And I know how things are. Like by December, those might be gone. Sometimes they don't restock, you know? And then I bought some of these because I do love giving um, hot cocoa presents, like a mug with a hot cocoa in mix inside. And these are perfect. They're cute, individualized hot cocoa packets. It's Nestle, so it's a good brand. And it's cute. It says hot cocoa for you to and from. They had the Santa and they had the snowman. Um, so I have a big a few baby cousins i was giving them each a set of pajamas and i thought i think i'm gonna add a hot cocoa to each of theirs and it's almost gonna be like you know if they want to do a christmas eve night or just a night in december i'm gonna give them each a face mask too so it'll be like a relaxing at home night and to go with those i thought i would each give them one of these as well so i figured for the santa they'll get the christmas tree how cute is that and then for the snowman version, they'll get the snowman. And this makes perfect gift, guys, if you have, like, co-workers you want to give to. If you want to give to your mailman. If you want to give... Like, I work at a school, we've been talking about giving gifts to the janitors because they do such important work that people, like, don't appreciate them for. Um, if you want to give, you know, to... Um, a neighbor you know what i mean like it's if you don't you don't know them personally but you want to get them something small this inside of a mug boom it's such a beautiful beautiful present so i that was my plan to give them that for christmas with their pajamas but then i saw these so you guys tell me what you think i should do because i'm sure this will definitely be posted for christmas because i keep debating i think i'm leaning towards giving them this because i feel like they're kids and they love the idea of this more and i could always use these like i said for co-worker gifts so it's not like they'll go to waste but i had those in my car and then i saw these and these are hot cocoa bombs they had them last year but guys this one is different they're upgrading this one is a peppermint flavored hot cocoa bomb last year they did not have this they only had the standard hot cocoa bombs so i grabbed three of them for my three baby cousins to give with a face mask and their pajamas and it literally just says drop dissolve and drink Take hot, take the hot chocolate bomb out of the box, place it in the mug, dissolve, pour eight ounces of warm milk over the hot cocoa bomb and watch it dissolve. Drink, stir, watch, stir, watch the marshmallows appear and enjoy. So I grabbed a few of those. Then I also grabbed this cookie kit. I might give one of them as well. I just thought it was a really, really cute for only $1.25. Uh, you get the icing ready to use, the colored sugar, the pearls, and you even get like a little flat paddle to help like lay out the frosting i pe see people do diys and they reuse the cookie um and like make their own kits that are even fancier so that's always something i could do too um and then i grabbed a bunch of little treats for joe because we usually do do stockings every year so he loves sour patch kids it is his favorite candy we even bought a sour patch kid gingerbread house we're gonna do so this one is all the green and red gingerbread little characters so i got him that and then I loved this drizzled popcorn. His birthday's coming up too. I already got him a birthday gift, so I just got him a birthday card. And then I love this drizzled popcorn. They did like birthday cake flavor. They did like seasonal ones. They had peppermint for right now. They had candy cane for Halloween. They had like a pink and blue, um, like cotton candy for Easter. These are the black and white sugar cookie. I don't like peppermint, so I left that one behind, but I grabbed these. And these are a healthier popcorn. It even says, like, non-GMO, certified gluten-free, made with cane sugar and sea salt. No corn syrup, no artificial colors. You can have the whole bag for 210 calories. I love this as a little treat, so I do treat myself 
to them once in a while from Dollar Tree. And then Catherine doing on a dime when she showed her hot cocoa bar. She said this was her her child approved. And I love Funfetti. I love birthday cake flavor anything. So I was already sold on it. And then when her son said, oh, it's so good, mom. I said, I'm going to get them. And I didn't even know. It says back here, one candy cane is only 50 calories. So it's not, you know, like a super, I'm sure there's a lot of sugar. Eh, eight grams. Not too bad. Um, <laughs> Not too good, but not too bad. But, you know, if you want like a little sweet treat and you're trying to watch what you're eating, like this isn't too bad. And how cute is it with the polka dots? Even the display that's on my hot cocoa bar. I, the design is beautiful and I'm sure it tastes really good too. And then I got my, like I said, I love anything birthday cake. So this was birthday cake remix by Cold Stone. It's a giant candy cane. I, 100 calories for half of a candy cane. That's what they get you sometimes. The whole one's 200. Um, I might throw this in my own stocking. Sometimes I'll throw in a little side of my stocking. Um, this is for Joe. I got it for him for his stocking. It is the Warheads. He loves anything sour and he loves anything green apple. And this one is green apple so i got him that these are just more of the chocolate spoons and hot cocoa packets i bought like three or four of each box i didn't go too crazy and then i also grabbed my long receipt this this is wired garland tie these are perfect to tie the garland like onto my staircase on my porch or if you have a staircase in your house these are really good for that you can't beat that you get 12 pieces for a dollar 25 gonna happen guys i tell you guys i live on a really busy street and then my other baby cousin she is only she's gonna be three in january so i'm not gonna give her the face mask or the hot cocoa but i want to give her a little something not just pajamas so dollar tree had these little plushies and i went they have the standard elf and snowman and santa they have the standard ones every year nothing wrong with those but i was like oh my god these are so different and they're so cute so i'm gonna throw this in with her pajamas and look they're like little mini plushies like this one is a snowman but he has like a peppermint button and a little hat he is so cute and it's just labeled literally labeled a plush but it kind of reminds me of like a mini squishmallow and i know those are really popular right now and then they had this cute little like mini elf with the peppermint swirl and a hat and they had this really cute mini santa with a beard and again a little puff ball on his head so i think my baby cousin will get a kick out of those and then this is a bunch more of those, like, ornament bulbs. Is that it? See, it was a lot, but I showed you guys pretty quickly. I'm proud of myself. For over $100, sometimes my hauls can be, like, half hour. Um, okay, so this two more things. Uh, this is probably going to go in my stocking. It's one of my favorite candies. I like a more of a crunchy candy versus a soft. I do love Sour Patch Kids, but this is my favorite, Nerds. And every time I see them, I think of my friend Charmaine over on Charmaine Staycation because she loves Nerds. And this one is a green, red, and white theme, hence the Christmas. Um, you can even see they're wearing, like, little Santa hats and stuff and wreaths around their neck. But this one is the green is the watermelon, the red is the wild cherry, and the white is – it just says punch. But – treating myself to that and then this is like the random one non-christmas thing um it is disposable icing bags but you can definitely use these for christmas holidays are coming lots of baking i bought the tips from dollar tree too in a previous haul so <coughs> i was just gonna do it with sandwich bags but when i saw these i said i'm gonna pick these up you get 12 little disposable icing bags probably works out a little better than using a sandwich bag and then i don't have to waste my sandwich bag because those are a little pricier than these you know so I grabbed this. But yeah, that is everything in my over $100 Dollar Tree haul. I am going to be filming like gift hauls. And like I think I'm going to film each. Like I'll do it all together. But I'm going to do like my four cousins. And I'm going to show you guys their gifts. Like with the pajama, with the face mask, with the hot cocoa bomb. Um, And I'll wrap it. I'm probably going to do a wrap with me video. I did that two years ago. I love wrapping. I'll just play like some nice Christmas music. If you guys want to put it on while I'm wrapping, I'm definitely going to show decorating my Christmas tree, decorating my entry table, decorating my porch. So I'm going to have tons of decorating content. So tons of just Christmas content. I am starting to do more vlogs now. Me and Joe are going to go see La Salette Shrine, which is um, something really big here in Massachusetts that does, it's more like the religious side of Christmas. Um, if you're into that, we're also going to see just holiday lights, which is more, you know, not the religious side of Christmas. Um, that I'm going to plan on filming that. We try to go to Finial Hall every year in Boston, so hopefully we can make plans to do that. It is a crazy time. Like I said, Joe's mom's in the middle of moving, and I am going through a big life thing that I'm going to talk about with you guys on a mass Monday. Might already be out by the time you're seeing this. Um, 
But you guys know I've been struggling with work. So I want to talk about it more in a different video. But I am. I really want to enjoy the season. Even I do feel a little overwhelmed because there is a lot going on. But I have I've just been doing it in phases. Like me and Joe took out the tree one night. The next day we fluffed it. The following day we put the ornaments. You know, it doesn't all have to get done at once. Enjoy the Christmas season. I know it can be stressful sometimes. There's so much to do. But just take a breather. Enjoy the moments because you never know when it's going to be your last. Truly, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item was. If any of my future content that's coming. And I do Mask Mondays every Monday. And book club videos every Thursday. We're doing like a holiday theme book club for December. And... Tuesdays and Wednesdays are my hauls. That's when you're going to see one of these. And Friday is usually the vlog and decorating contest. So if any of that sounds good, definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. That is it for this video, guys. Be safe.